Hey guys. So I wanted to, I was just cutting the seats on this head. Um, so this is a 24 valve 5.9 head, common rail. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys something. So on this head, um, I was just, literally, I just, well, I just finished these two, but I wanted to show you something on these two seats. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't imagine I should be able to show it pretty good. So you guys watch that seat in there. You can see the bluing on the backside. Now this is something that, um, versus if you're stone grinding versus um, using a, a cutter for doing it, stone grind you wouldn't notice this because it wouldn't spin but see how I just grabbed that that seat and the seats now spinning in there so like I said if you were stone grinding these you wouldn't see that so what happened with this one I would imagine well this cylinder was beat up a little bit so this cylinder would have had uh, at some point in its life a um, failure in this cylinder um, so piston failure which probably overheated stuff and it beat the guts out of these seats so these the, both of these seats are loose so not a real long video but I just wanted to show you guys if you if you were stone grinding or if you guys are stone grinding cylinder head like the seats you wouldn't notice this but this seat would fall out in a short period of time because it has no pressure and like, i'm not even really pushing on it to get it to do that so that's one thing that i do like about the three angle cutters when you're doing these things is it takes a lot of force for it to physically cut that cutter like for for it to go in here and cut that there's a lot of force so when it does that if it is loose in there you'll spin it um so anyways it's not a you know super long here but what i guess i can show changing it as well maybe i'll throw it in a time lapse and i'll show changing it um sometimes they're fun to get out sometimes they're not i think this one this one's really loose so i think it'll come out really easy but anyways i'll throw in a time lapse and you guys can watch me change it i guess <clears throat> So you guys probably seen it in time lapse. Imagine. Actually, I'm gonna have to cut that one a little bit more. Still a little bit. Of it. So um, I don't know how much the time lapse caught, but I'm just gonna explain. I got to cut a little bit more on this one anyway. Basically, what I'm what I've done is um, pulled these seats out, which is no good because it was loose obviously and i'm gonna put i'm cutting this bore bigger um to put a bigger of uh, the seat is 20 thou bigger when the factory is supposed to be the ones that were actually in there were supposed to be tens but the hole didn't measure right so it basically had like four thou crush on it which doesn't make sense um why somebody would do that because that's definitely not right we do i do seven on them and i use retaining compound um, but this one, um, seat pocket isn't quite low enough. Um, I don't know if you guys would be able to see, you might be able to see it right down, right, right there. Be able to see that. I'll try to zoom in when I'm doing it, but, um, I didn't quite cut low enough cause you can still actually see where the seat was moving. So I'm going to cut a little bit more on it here. Try to cut a little bit more on it. I guess you guys can watch while I'm doing that. This isn't really very hard. Basically a drill, glorified drill press at this point. And I just pump the pedal like that to, to help center it. I'm literally just going down to the point where that black mark is going away. I don't want to cut these. I think these pockets, well, they have been cut at least once before because somebody put seats in it. So I don't want to get too carried away cutting them. So anyways, that looks better. So basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive in new seats. 
providing we didn't cut the hole too big. I would say it'll still go, so that's good. Um, and then we're gonna re, I'm gonna have to recut these now. So um, for instance, I had somebody, I can't remember who it was um, that asked about this. If you drop a valve seat and the head is still serviceable, basically this is the process that you would be going through. So the seat would obviously be out. So you would cut that pocket larger to accept a larger seat. Um, now there, it does get to a certain point where like you can put a really big seat in, but usually the issue is, is that if you drop an actual seat is it beats the guts out of the top of the head um, and usually wrecks the head just depends on you know what the circumstance now lucky that this one didn't drop a valve seat um it did wreck this cylinder was wrecked um at some point but it wasn't it didn't drop a valve seat which is good because it would have dropped a valve seat if it did keep running um so could have been worse i suppose because it could have completely destroyed the head Anyways, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to throw you back on time lapse. I'll drive these in. Um, you guys have seen me in other videos drive these in. Uh, the 12 out. No, I didn't have to do seats in that one. But I, I, oh, I did seats on the, the P-Pump 6, 7 head. Um, but anyways, you just put this in. There's a tool. You'll see me in time lapse. Drive the two in. A little bit of retaining compound on them. And uh, then we'll cut the seats. But I'll do that in time lapse. Come back when we're um, when I've cut everything. I'll do a quick talk over it at that point. Right, guys so we've got those things uh cut really easy it's not rocket science to cut them all you got to do is just cut them to the right depth i'm within five thou of the other ones um they're actually five how a little bit higher than the rest but the other ones are a little on the low side but it is what it is without complete completely changing all the seats in the head which is a lot of work um you know it's it, it'll it'll do for more than what he what he's going to use it for but anyways uh that's what it takes so like i said if you've dropped a valve seat um, and, the, and the pocket's not beat up too bad, that's one way to do it. And that's my, how I might actually say it in this video to start with, that's my uh, title of the video. Um, but anyways, uh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and uh, please like, please subscribe, please comment, it does make a difference to me. Um, you know, gives me uh, more incentive to keep going. Uh, you know, in the times where it's super, we're super busy, you know, like it's, uh, Wednesday at, I don't know what time it is. Six thirty p.m. Oh, I mean, I'm still here working. We close at four, so I got this one done. I got one in the parts washer. You guys can hear the parts washer going in the background. I gotta get that one out, get it dried and wrapped. Uh, this one's gonna go in the parts washer so we can assemble tomorrow. Uh, I got three more that I have to do. Uh, I have to work on tomorrow. So, anyways. Catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.